Assalamualaikum and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Zamir, I'm Cycling Addict. Today I had uh, something special to announce to you guys. It's, right, it's regarding our cycling community. And what I'm about to unbox uh, today is the most important part in cycling means in terms of apparel. So, yang ni yang paling penting and I'm really excited to share to you guys. Uh, the thing is, I tak boleh nak macam selalu angkat satu sebab dia ada dua kotak yang lagi besar. So, I'm gonna get the box. Stay tuned. Let's go with the unboxing. One, and sebelas. Oh, okay, and basically a tester. Too. So today, welcome to the world of POC. POC. Okay, sampai aku mula kena tutup So, let me just Let me just susun-susun sikit Okay Okay, good Oh, so Today We are going to unbox All roads uh, Helmet By POC Or POC I receive all this helmet uh, From Cyclist for Drop Basically, kita ada some discussion Together uh, and then I check up yang I belum ada review on helmet lagi because if you are with my channel uh, since day one I ada review astuto wheels and then we go to kasut and then trainer and the next is helmet so I try my best to not to review the same uh, category product uh, if I dah review a nimble shoe then another shoe so I, kalau boleh tak nak buat macam tu because PKP ni tak boleh kita we we need something to refresh our eyes kan. So I suggest dekat Max yang give me your pop, your POC helmet, let me do a review because uh, sebenarnya I have a history with POC helmet uh, in my cycling journey. So POC helmet or they call it pop, bukan pork tapi pork. Um, POC, uh, dia from a company in Sweden uh, Dia start daripada buat helmet untuk ski, mountain bike and then road bike So, POC ni dia ada from helmet, sunglasses and apparel uh, Tapi kasut, I tak pasti uh, Tu boleh check out lah Whatever in terms of the specs uh, for the helmet, you can google it and for the review, I just want to share on my point of view of the POC helmet or POC. Alright, so for POC helmet, whatever that I have here now is the whole range from kids to adults. Uh, so, kita ada ventral light, kita ada ventral spin, kita ada omni spin. Uh, there is a uh, uh, Pokito yang I cakap uh, is for the kids punya And kita ada Omni Air Spin uh, And we have also a very orang kata special edition that is for Asian feet Maksudnya, okay Sebelum ni POC punya structure uh, for the for their helmet uh, It's more on the European or apa not Asian punya kepala which is uh, dia lonjong uh, So, orang yang kepala libar macam saya ni Dan belakang pingit Dia akan ada masalah dekat bahagian sini Dia rasa macam tertekan Tak semua orang yang boleh pakai POC masa tu Sebab bila dia orang ambil a larger size Dia orang akan rasa longgar kat belakang Bila ambil kecil, dia akan terasa kat tengah So, uh, my introduction to POC because First of all, I love the design. Masa I beli tu, it was the Octal. Um, which is, I don't have it here now because um, 
yang tu lah yang ada sejarah dengan I which I crash dengan that, that, that helmet and that helmet save my life tapi the design dah masih lagi dikekalkan uh, on the ventral light uh, which I, I'm going to show to you guys so join me on checking out each helmet yang kita ada sekarang ok so here we are with all the POC helmet since uh, helmet ni dah kat luar kotak so we just start with this uh, this is the ventral spin ventral spin is the design uh, is based, still based on the octal punya helmet yang lama and um, ventral spin ni it's dia macam the arrow version or for POC lah uh, arrow version yes if kalau tanya orang yang dah biasa dengan helmet arrow uh, mana ada arrow ni semua aku nampak lubang je uh, itulah dia punya the other side how POC look at aerodynamics POC look at aerodynamics in terms of ventilation terms yang diorang gunakan that is ventry effect where big air masuk jadi small air come out with big air means we go faster with so called compressing the air and bila dia keluar tu dia ada some orang kata aerodynamic effect to push you further maybe tapi for what I see uh, it's dia memang different uh, from any other helmet yang uh, I pernah try lah another thing with POC uh, POC dia main core for the helmet punya design is for protection uh, protection first designs come later uh, that's why yang to be honest I, 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 I love that about POC lah because they want to be protective but they don't want to compromise uh, on the design juga so this is it for the ventral spin um, ventral spin ni it's uh, dia tak ringan dan tak berat dia just ok lah uh, it's weight around for it's weight around 250 gram for M size and there are the lots of choice of colors what I love most uh, uh, about uh, the design is dia uh, a bit besar and protective on top of your skull and dia kalau in Malaysia banyak orang tak suka sebab dia kata macam cendawan uh, because dia kembang kat atas kan if you see cendawan macam cendawan mutang tu kan uh, dia belah atas tu uh, so bila you pakai dia macam cendawan so macam muka-muka kecil um, dia akan namp memang nampak macam cendawan lah but all I can say is the reason behind dia buat besar tu is because to cover until your ears tau ok iyalah dia orang tak boleh nak cater semua ears kan tapi dia memang saja buat besar sikit just to cover sampai tepi uh, and then dia besarkan bahagian belakang dia besarkan bahagian belakang is to absorb impact sebab dia orang memang collect back all dia orang punya crashes uh, helmet from pro peloton and dia orang find out that this area is the most uh, crucial part uh, in terms of accident memang impact memang this side so kalau you look into the new design you akan nampak all the uh, the, 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 the the structure is enhanced agak banyak dekat bahagian belakang to absorb the impact right so this is ventral spin i'm just going to go over uh, all the helmets sebab helmet banyak <laughs> right okay so this is the ventral light okay ventral light ni memang obviously ringan sebab that is the main purpose they they orang resurrect balik the old octal put in the new design and the ventral light and it's ringan memang ringan gila so for an M size is 190 grams only the design for ventral light dia memang octal lah base memang nampak if you have an octal dulu you nampak but kalau daripada depan memang nampak macam octal tapi what is the difference uh, the belak belakang ni is the the, the latest design uh, sama macam ventral spin see Okay. Uh, again, uh, they are using the same material um, Cuma uh, ada part-part yang kalau you ada dua-dua helmet lah For example, you ada the ventral spin And you ada the ventral light So you can see the difference Nampak? 
So yang ni is covered, yang ni is more uh, on the structure sahaja. Uh, dia macam bare, dia macam raw material lah dia tunjuk. Uh, I rasa dekat situ juga yang dia shred uh, a few gram, uh, a few grams juga to make it uh, helmet lighter. Right? So this is the ventral light. So next one is the ventral air spin. So base dia sama macam ventral spin and ventral light uh, cuma dia in the middle range. Yang ni tadi 250, yang ni 230, ni 190 gram. Ah uh, so you have this three category yang you boleh pilih which is if you want to go light like lightest you go for the uh, ventral light uh, you nak tengah-tengah you can go for the ventral air spin um, you want to go not to say heavy but you want to go arrow penuh you go for the ventral spin all right okay uh, this one is another range for the POC helmet yang ni macam the average punya range this is the omni air spin ok omni air spin ni um, if i'm not mistaken is a new design bila dia orang keluar the venture spin dia orang decide to keluar another uh, category lah that is uh, an average punya range for dia orang punya POC level so they can have varieties in terms of looks kalau you nak tengok betul-betul, yang ni memang tak ada base on the venture langsung ataupun octa. This is uh, uh, basically a new design. Okay. Last but not least, we have the kids punya version. Uh, yang ni yang tak boleh tahan nak tengok ni. So for example, if you want to go right with your sons or daughter, they have a proper helmet yang protect dia orang kan so kita nak we we wanted to have fun with them uh, kita juga tak nak compromise in terms of safety because apa-apa jadi kat dia orang nanti susah kan so uh, kudos to uh, POC on on bringing uh, on on designing uh, for kids uh, they call it Pocalito uh, so the one of the safety features they are the velcro uh, reflective you boleh tukar or you want to add ke apa ke so it's velcro you can be creative and memang tak nampak yang untuk for kids punya dia ada kata design tak lawa ke ataupun tak tak se detail as yang lain they make it as good as all the POC punya helmet so very nice another features yang I love about POC helmet is dia orang punya Uh, ni, dia orang punya padding kat dalam uh, korang tahu tak yang sebelum ni ada MIPS kan MIPS sebelum ni kalau nak beli helmet kena ada MIPS ke dalam MIPS MIPS tu uh, kalau korang perasan juga beli bila korang beli helmet dia ada satu structure warna kuning kat dalam uh, for, bila bila you letak kepala dia akan jadi macam your helmet is floating uh, sebab dia macam It's a, it's, a, it's a dia macam roll cage in the car lah dia ada satu macam rangka protect your skull but even though MIPS tu uh, the first introduced is on the POC helmet now POC come up with a new technology that is the spin punya cushion which dia orang still ada the original uh, rangka kat dalam ni and then they improve it with the padding the spin uh, padding yang mana this pad dia ada rasa macam macam mana cakap dia macam ada jelly kat dalam ni lah jelly, macam lembut uh, and the fabric uh, serap peluh they have done the research uh, and tested when for example rider jatuh and then kepala dia terhentak kan dekat jalan This the pad actually help uh, the head to roll maksudnya dia tak stick and dia tak dia help to absorb the 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 impact to uh, kurangkan kecederaan di bahagian kepala ataupun uh, di permukaan kepala ni Zami sendiri dah experience where masa tu belum ada lagi uh, spin punya uh, teknologi I pakai Octal masa tu Octal still using the MIPS punya teknologi um, 
Kalau korang uh, masih ingat lagi lah masa di zaman Easy Ride Easy Ride dekat Putrajaya uh, There was uh, a crash uh, Yang si ada video viral The crash was dekat 50km sejam Nak dekat dengan finishing line And everyone is putting their effort And nak dijadikan cerita uh, Ada collide kat depan Zami And Zami tak dapat elak Which I orang kata redo je Redah So what happened, I'm the second ke third rider dekat belakang yang crash tu uh, and I tak boleh nak buat apa I just prepare myself for the fall and I langgar I tak tahu apa I langgar uh, and I tertongging my back hit is the one receiving the most impact sebab I, I, yang I ingat I flip ke depan, I front flip and my back hit the one yang ambil the impact first on the ground so uh, apa yang I rasa is the bang on the head pump then I jatuh terlentang then I terus bangun balik which I I I sebenarnya I ingat masa tu tak adalah teruk sangat so, macam oh jatuh dan bangun I tolong orang apa semua sebab tu uh, kalau nak ikutkan orang tak perasan sebenarnya I was in the crash and Uh, tak ada tak ada kata yang I tak ada luka I tak ada apa It's just that Me being uh, Sebelum ni I pernah main motocross I dah memang belajar To roll your body when jatuh So uh, Apa Bila dah jadi macam tu I bangun I tolong orang semua Then Kemas lah kemas Dah tolong orang Dah pergi balik ke kereta Then Baru I nak tengok dekat basikal I Tengok dekat helmet I So What happen I Bila I tengok my helmet My octal yang dulu ni dah tebal lah Dulu sebelum ni separuh ke tau My octal dah penyik ke dalam Like literally ke dalam Memang this back part Masuk ke dalam Sebab receiving the first impact The 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 most impact Sebab yang tu yang jatuh dulu My body weight semua fokus kat belakang Yang ni yang Yang the first touch dekat on the ground So I was so surprised and I sangat-sangat bersyukur yang kata Allah tu sayang I lah Memang sayang-sayang sangat Sebab bila I tunjuk helmet ni Gambar helmet dekat orang Orang semua kata Are you okay? Your helmet dah Ui belakang helmet kau hancur apa semua Cakap ya Alhamdulillah I'm okay and everything That helmet really teach me What safety is about So I've been a, I've been a POC fan Since that incident This is the personal history in my cycling journey with POC helmet Because, bukanlah nak kata kalau dengan helmet lain tu Mungkin I dah apa-apa ke But Having POC at that time really saves my life uh, So I personally, I nak promote the goods yang bagi protection To my fellow cyclist juga So um, for POC, that is the main protection kalau kata helmet lain, mungkin dah ada features-features lain lah uh, So, don't forget to get your POCs Alright Okay, uh, kita tak buka apa ni Ooh. Oh, another ventral light uh, Ventral light memang a little bit different in terms of color Sebab diorang um, For ventral light, dia banyak main dua tone Putih, hitam uh, Yang ni memang satu tone lah uh, Ada yang hitam bawah hijau ada hitam bawah ada ada few colors lagi lah yang you boleh check out and also if you guys perasan POC banyak pakai color yang striking gila macam ni orange macam yang ni orange putih yang ni biru and then you ada splash this basically uh, by the way this is a limited edition punya uh, dia orang panggil the color splash Color-color diorang, it's very striking Sebab apa? Visibilities Remember, I cakap POC Dia punya main uh, vision Or main motto in, in their company is protection So, you can see here it, Dia memang color dia sebatu dia nampak And my favorite color uh, To be honest, is this one lah Sebab, I boleh pakai pagi I boleh pakai malam For example, kalau malam, I pakai At least orang tak nampak I, orang nampak helmet I Because I can be very, you know, in the shadow kalau malam uh, So, kalau I pakai helmet ni At least orang boleh nampak helmet and maybe gigi I ke apa kan 
uh, so safety part crucial memang sangat crucial safety for cyclists crucial another thing for POC's punya accessories is diorang punya pad so diorang ada replacement pad yang senang nak nak dapat lah and then uh, tak mahal sangat sebab uh, kalau nak tengok dia punya in terms of dia punya structure eh. so you get whatever original padding yang you dapat masa you beli uh, helmet so it's the exact uh, padding uh, with a very low price uh, yang mana I think I need to replace mine also I'm glad that you know, ada satu available so I boleh beli satu <laughs> ok one more thing POC is very very popular among the Canandalians ataupun the kultur punya gang kalau kat Malaysia ni so they have uh, so called Canandale culture uh, I rasa kalau dalam English uh, culture lah kot Canandale culture tapi they change it to Malaysia kultur tergeliat jugalah nak cakap but yeah it's nice to have something ada Malaysian punya essence kan siapa-siapa yang dalam Canadian kultur ni akan diracun POC kenapa? sebab pro peloton Canadian pakai POC <laughs> if you can see most of the the Canadian user ataupun Canadian rider akan pakai POC yang mana yang dah join Canadian kultur ni lah uh, so uh, my experience joining the 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 WhatsApp group pun dah macam huru hara dah masuk-masuk je kena interview what helmet you are using kalau you pak, you tak pakai POC you keluar dulu nanti lepas you beli POC you boleh masuk balik <laughs> but that is the inside joke lah actually it's not serious pun uh, but you know that type of uh, vibe yang kalau boleh kita nak lah dalam uh, cycling scene kan so we racun meracun ni is normal you cannot run away even though you bukan dalam gang kenendil ke tak ke it, there's always you punya best friend sendiri pun adalah seorang uh, boleh your best friend sendiri pun boleh menjadi seorang peracun yang sangat-sangat merosakkan bank account you kan okay, betul tak uh, tell me that you have experience share your experience dalam komen so we can you know uh, kita boleh talk about it ke apa kan sebab i presume everyone ad, pernah ada i presume everyone ada dia orang punya own experience in terms of sama ada dia racun kawan ataupun kawan meracun dia kan alright the most popular color yang I selalu dengar lah uh, among riders is the black and white black and white sebab dia senang nak nak blend dengan apa-apa color yang lain for example kalau you beli jersey ke apa ke senang tapi now they have the grey they have the grey so yang ni not bad juga senang juga nak pair um, the blue splash ni um, is a little bit specific tap apa apa pun i love the color because the way they 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 blend the color tu basically in one palette so dia tak kata whatever that you have for example jersey yang you ada color-color ni you boleh pakai kalau kata i have the chance to pick uh, a color for me i will definitely go for the orange sebab macam saya cakap lah visibility Tak kisahlah, basically orang nak cakap I macam, wey, boleh tahan kat colour kau ambil ni kan uh, Hari tu, memang Zami pernah cakap, kalau kasut tu different This is my head, I need to protect my head Because without a head, I cannot live <laughs> So, I need to protect my head uh, So, I'm gonna go with the the most striking colour Yang daripada jauh pun orang boleh nampak I And, kalau kata For the light version uh, either I go for the kelabu Or Dia lah, hitam Hitam lah uh, Then sebab macam kalau color Color uh, Macam color limited like The EF punya color semua Dia tak jual on shelf You have to have a very You have to have very Orang kata kawan-kawan yang Berpengaruh untuk dapatkan uh, All that limited color So Whatever that we have here basically is in stock uh, in Cyclist Wardrobe yang you boleh uh, purchase online and they will send it to your house smoothly. So with whatever that the stock that I have 
uh, now hari uh, tu yang masa sakit sorok hantar kat ai most of them dah sold ai tak sempat nak review lagi dia orang nak beli because uh, by the way asian fit ada uh, dua saiz saja s dengan m dia tak ada l yang mana pakai m akan fit s yang mana pakai l akan fit m it's better that you give it a try first sebelum beli one of another reason yang ai suka poc punya helmet ni sebab kalau korang perasan most of uh, iklan-iklan ataupun gambar-gambar Rafa apa and then jersey-jersey punya iklan kan most of them pakai POC so dia dia punya design tu you rasa macam bila you pakai tu you rasa macam fuh for example macam muka Zami kan dia macam kena langgar lori lori ayam pula tu muka pecah kan kena langgar tapi bila pakai POC tu rasa okey lah macam tak adalah macam handsome kan basically kalau orang yang handsome pakai lagi handsome lah macam Zami ni macam yang muka pecah punya level bila pakai tu dia macam enhance sikit lah ha. so I think that should be a, a plus advantage juga bila you pakai POC ni tau this more on a I rasa that is the reason why dia masuk dalam kultur Cannondale ni. Dia jadi macam dia, dia jadi macam culture for the Cannondaleans tu. Uh, kan? So price wise for me, uh, I look at as dia lebih kurang macam most of the helmet yang ada uh, dengan brand-brand lain. So like I said, uh, I really don't want to go into comparing. So in terms of the price, I rasa berbaloi lah dengan apa yang I beli and the protection yang I dapat and style yang I dapat uh, so memang for me I love POC I have to say it. I love POC <laughs> ok jangan so jangan please jangan ingat aku bias this is that this, uh, something about POC yang memang I suka most of my friends also pakai POC macam Hanis you boleh tengok Hanis dia pernah bentang semua helmet dia kat atas lantai, semua POC most of them, boleh katakan most of them are POC, 90% are POC and banyak kawan-kawan lain yang 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 I write also memang pakai POC so, POC is life <laughs> harap dapat satu helmet pun jadi lah kalau boleh lah <laughs> remember, I ada bagi tahu dengan you guys that I have something to share regarding our cycling community ok Uh, me and a group of friends uh, including Mariana, Hanis, Amirul, Shafiq and Wan basically kita orang nak start a movement uh, that we call a white flag movement uh, from cyclists to the community not only the cyclist community to all so we approach uh, Max from Cyclist World Road boleh tak kalau kita nak buat collaboration dengan dia bila orang beli uh, barang dekat Cyclist Wardrobe then ada small portion that we can put into a food bank yes I know that maybe for certain people cakap dah banyak dah white flag movement, white flag movement tapi this is from a cycling punya community which is I think that we need to to do also sebab uh, kita nak kalau boleh nak merapatkan balik community dengan cyclist Uh, it's just an initiative that uh, all six of us had and Alhamdulillah Max agree uh, for the collaboration so I'm really excited to announce our white flag movement by cyclists collaboration with Cyclist Wardrobe where you will get an extra 5% discount for apparel only from head to toe so one of it is POC helmet so for example sekarang dah ada discount dah you will get another 5% discount on top of the discount yang dah exist for the POC helmet sama juga kalau you beli Gobit punya uh, jersey ataupun base layer ataupun stocking ataupun glove diorang dah ada uh, discount yang memang Cyclist Wardrobe dah ada using our code you will get another another 5% discount on top so from the whole amount akan ada portion that we will take for the food bank so that's why I think uh, this collaboration is brilliant because when you spend actually you are helping the needy I'm very happy that Max actually 
uh, agree on doing this collaboration even though kita orang ni bukan macam a, a popular cycling punya club ke ataupun we just a, 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 a bunch of friends yang wanted to do something uh, and give back to the community so please kalau boleh uh, you know buy some stuff so i hope you are excited as i am uh, in terms of helping the needy dengan dalam keadaan sekarang yang kita PKP ni tak habis-habis our our case is around average 13,000, 14,000, 15,000 paling tinggi so there's a lot of affected people yang kita boleh tolong and while we are spending for ourselves why not bila kita spend tu ada small portion that we help others that is I I I believe that is the best feeling that you can get Uh, and I think you should do it and please do it <laughs> uh, because if you guys know me I'm from an NGO punya background I've been to a lot of countries and seeing by with my and seeing with my eyes kesusahan yang level lant- rumah dia lantai tanah uh, so I understand yang bila kata tak ada makan tu I faham masalah dia orang ataupun ya bila dia orang kata tak ada makan tu I I can understand how they feel. Uh, so this is a small initiative yang I buat with a group of friends yang selalu cycle sama and wanted to give back to the community. Uh, so I hope you support uh, walaupun tak banyak sikit maybe by socks or by 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 buy some things lah. Uh, sebab whatever that you bought, there is a portion for them. Uh, so you, I believe that will make you feel better a lot. That's it for uh, this episode of unboxing. We have uh, POC's helmet, the whole range. I'm so excited and pumped up uh, for the campaign that we just launched. So I hope you guys uh, support on the campaign. Uh, head to Cyclist Wardrobe and use our code belilah apa-apa okay? I nak berterima kasih kepada all my subscribers yang like, share, subscribe and help me a lot uh, in my journey of my YouTube channel I try to do things as genuine as I can um, and I cuba jadi different from others lah I kalau boleh tak nak review benda sama ke ataupun I tak nak buat sama apa yang orang lain buat for now this is the style of what I'm doing so you can always suggest to me anything that you rasa you nak I buat ataupun uh, you boleh comment uh, mana yang I boleh baiki I will do my best because your comment maybe can help the channel to be better right uh, so until the next episode The channel banyak lagi barang yang akan unbox and we have uh, more episodes uh, on the Muslim cyclist uh, for bike maintenance sebab sekarang PKPD fasa 1 so I tak boleh nak pergi ke that Muslim cyclist untuk buat recording that's why belum ada lagi uh, episode baru for uh, bike maintenance like subscribe share the channel and until the next episode assalamualaikum